She told me because I asked her and she confirmed it. Here it goes. She told me. So I asked her about the miracle. All right. So I said I was told that the knife didn't open up and that he actually cut off his own finger. So now she confirmed it. It is truly a miracle, truly a miracle. The knife did not open on his grace. It opened on his own fingers and he lost three fingers with his own sword. See what Jesus did to your Muhammad Muslims? You see what Jesus did to your Allah? The real God protected his servant Marmari, but your dog, who's like Muhammad, your dog who's burning in hell, the knife did not open on Marmari, and the man ended up cutting his three of his own fingers. This is Jesus. This is Jesus. Muhammad's God and destroyer who buried your Allah and Muhammad in hell. This is Jesus. King Jesus, the Lord of glory. Our lives are in his hands, and Muhammad is dead under his feet. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Glory to the Father. Glory to the Son. Glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. His will shall be done. That's Jesus. Our lives in the hands of Jesus. And you cannot take our lives away. We live because Jesus lives, and we're going to be around for many years to destroy Muhammad. Not a damn thing you can do about it. Glory to your Lord. Glory to you. Glory to your Lord. Glory to you. Glory to your Lord. Glory to you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. In fact, here's his deacon right here, Franz Thomas. Toma. He just commented. This is his deacon. She confirmed it. He's there. Okay? The knife did not open up. And I'm going to show you in the video, he stops and looks. He sees the knife did not open up. And he cut off his own fingers. Three of them. Three of them. Three of them. Okay, one more time. That's what we're going to do to your Muhammad. That's what we're going to do to your Muhammad. It is truly a miracle. The life did not open on his grace. It opened on his own fingers. And he lost three fingers with his own sword. We love you, Father. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for humiliating Muhammad again and showing the world you are almighty. And it's a fearful thing to fall into your hands, O God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Okay? That's why I said it's a miracle. So what are you guys afraid of? What are you afraid of? Jesus is alive. Muhammad is dead. This should now make you more bold and ready to protect your lives, your loved ones, and glorify Christ, and now go after Muhammad without mercy. Go after Muhammad without mercy. Go after Muhammad without mercy, okay? We do not need wimps anymore. We don't need sissies and effeminate queer baits. That's why I say I don't respect you guys. You effeminate queer baits, I would spit on you. I don't care for your opinion. I don't respect you. You're disgusting. You're a disgrace. May the Lord Jesus Christ crush you, humiliate you, you dogs, until you repent and fear the Lord. Stand out of our way. We're the ones putting our lives on the line. And glory to the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. This will now exalt his servant, Marmari, because now Marmari has become a hero for the faith. Marmari has become a hero. Now, this is how the Lord will exalt you. Marmari is not looking to be a hero or a martyr, or a saint. He just wants to love Jesus Christ. He just wants to glorify Jesus Christ. And he wants to be humble. But when you humble yourself, the Lord will exalt you. Now it backfired against you pagans, because now the world hates Muhammad even more, hates all of the Quran even more, knows that Muhammad is a dog burning in hell, and now millions of Muslims will leave Islam, and millions of Christians will be bold, and the Lord will magnify his servant and his ministry. And millions more will come to listen to Marmari. There's not a damn thing you can do about it. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Glory to you, Lord Jesus, the one who crushed and destroyed and damned Muhammad in hell. Thank you, Lord. Make us bold and never back down and never shame you. Right?